and welcome back. When I listen to Muse, okay, the first thing that always stands out to me is, of course, is the, the singer. Singing with such passion, amazing passion. And I guess he has the passion there as a songwriter, as expressing himself artistically. What is he saying? What is he saying? Um, this song talks about, I've seen what you're doing, destroying puppet strings to my soul. That's a really excellent metaphor for what what is going on in, in our culture where we've got incredible power, incredible top-heavy power, and the people are down here are becoming weaker and weaker, and the top is becoming more and more powerful, even though the power, the top is supposed to be serving the people. There's not supposed to be hierarchy, really, in government and all that. So there's so much of that going on in this world. So I really relate to that message, if that's the message. Amazing guitar sounds. I really love the crispy, kind of stretchy, bright. The textures are really a lot of uh, strong textures in this band. Bass is great. The drums are great. Uh, the production's really nice. Oh yeah, I was going to say, whenever I listen to Muse, I always see a um, correlation to, to classical music. I hear... He must have been very influenced by Bach and Mozart and, you know, Beethoven. You know, to spiritually reach out. Uh, I guess Muse strikes me as a very spiritual band when it feels like you're just trying to break out and reach into something bigger or better. That's what Muse seems to be a lot about. Make sure you thumb this video up. Subscribe, I'm Dean Wolf, And now I'm getting back into progressive rock and really loving all the new progressive rock. And join me in that journey, a spiraling out as Dean Wolf. Bye.